Growing up in the 80s and 90s, the only way we watched people play video games was on the living room rug in person. There were no Twitch streamers or YouTubers. I mean, we didn't even have the internet. Nope, back in those days, if we wanted to share videos, we had to record the video and audio signal out of our NES, into our VCR, and onto a VHS tape. And that's exactly what my cousin Manny did for me during the summer of 1990. What's up guys, it's your buddy Tyler coming at you with a brand new video here on My Retro Life. This is a gameplay tape that my cousin Manny recorded of three NES games that he had mastered back in the day. The three games that are on this tape are DuckTales, Shadowgate, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When Manny recorded this tape for me in the summer of 1990, I had recently just gotten Ninja Turtles. In fact, my Aunt Michelle, Manny's mom, had given it to me as a surprise birthday gift that I got the day after my birthday celebrations. It was amazing getting Ninja Turtles because at the time, we were all turtle maniacs. I mean, we were all about the toys, the TV show. This has become the Nintendo vacation. I thought it would be great for old time's sake if I called up my cousin Manny and recorded our reaction to watching his playthrough of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES. He was only nine when he made this recording. Let's go ahead and play the tape. 1990 is when Manny recorded this. We got Manny with us. What's up, Manny? Hey, everyone. Good to be here, Tyler. Thanks. I I don't remember doing this at all. Not at all. So this is really a treat because I I never really thought I'd beat it, but you have to, you actually have proof that I did. I know. I told Manny uh, when I found it, I was like, you know, I found that recording that you, you, you beat Turtles on tape for me and sent it to me when I was a kid. You know four years old and manny would have been like nine or ten uh depending on the month and uh it really you know it's so funny how you don't remember it but yeah we're gonna we're gonna watch it unfold right before our eyes so this is here <laughs> why did i pick raft first wow okay i don't know i would have picked raft first out of just purely i love raft who's my favorite turtle but um yeah the best turtle is definitely donatello in this game yeah, maybe I picked him because he's the um, he's di dispensable as far as I was concerned. I never liked him. His weapons were too short, short range. And and Manny Manny right. would send me these tapes to show me basically how to play through the game. And you know, he probably sent it to me after I got Ninja Turtles that April when we were visiting. When we were visiting. Um, and I turned four years old that April. I got Ninja Turtles. In fact, I think it was Aunt Michelle who got me the game. And so that's probably why you included it on this tape. This game, I remember there was a lot of hype for this uh, when it came out. My friends and I all wanted it. And I guess the only way we knew was through Nintendo Power. And, uh, you know, it came out. Um, I might have gotten it after my friend Phil got his. I think he had it as well. I think he got it first, like, on release day or, like, shortly after. So this one, like, you know, super hype. And then even more so for the arcade game, which, you know, if you played it in the arcade, Ninja Turtles 2, uh, you know the arcade game. You act in bringing it home to play on your NES is crazy, uh, especially because you didn't have to pump quarters into it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that game was the one everybody really loved was the Turtles 2 arcade game, and and this one came out first. And I think it was one of those things where we just kind of had to love it. You know, it was the only Turtles game available at home, and. You know, but really, there, there is a, it's a really good game once you kind of learn its its you know quirks, and uh, it's a, it's a really challenging game, much more difficult than the arcade game, if you ask me. There's a, I remember, 
Bebop, right? The feeling of of seeing Bebop and Rocksteady for the first time, like in the game, like it was so cool to see that, and, and April up there to see them <laughs> represented, like in the game, these 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 characters that we love from the show. There they are in NES 8-bit form, you know. <laughs> I remember thinking, they're you know, they don't really look that big. I guess because, you know, sprite limitations, they only had them so large. Right, the turtles are actually kind of taller than them. Yeah. Oh, so you're you, doing the pizza yeah, trick. Yeah, look at that. This is good. <laughs> I, I've, I haven't played this game. Uh, I, you know, I maybe loaded it up once or twice. Um, but I really haven't played past the first stage since probably this video or something. When did you get into the turtles? Like... How much had you been a Turtles fan before this game came out? Yeah, that's a hard question to answer. I don't really know. But I would say it started with the cartoon. Oh, yeah. And then I had tons of action figures. and. Um... Yep. Yeah, the action figures, man. That was the one of the catalysts, honestly. More, even the, <laughs> Of course, the cartoon, but... Those toys were all over the toy stores, you know, Toys R Us, and they were right in front of our faces every time we went into those shops. And so they were so appealing. And um, I think if you didn't have the toy line, you know, I think it was, was it Playmates? Yeah. If you didn't uh, have yeah. the Playmates toy line, I don't think the show would have been as popular as it was. Oh, look at that. A little glitch. The bow yeah. comes up on the bottom. Yeah, I know. And you know, Watching this tape in 1990 as a four-year-old, I would, you taught me all the tricks. You, you were teaching me all the tricks that um, I needed to use to to get through the game myself. And that's, you know, that was the value I had. And so this this whole trick coming up right here with Rocksteady. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you do this To this, this day. Trick, I think. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think remember. You, you, you do the, um, the bow um, glitch, I, I think. Maybe not, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe okay. I'm showing off or something. You're I don't kind know. of showing off with the uh, shrinkings, <laughs> the throwing stars. I mean, his pattern isn't that difficult. It's a shame no, it's, I had it's to really not. Yeah, resort to that. Okay, so yeah, you didn't you didn't do that trick. That's funny, but yeah, of course everybody everybody knows that trick. Um, everybody learned that trick at some point. Some kid on, at the school bus, or you know, somebody somebody told you through word of mouth about the bow, the the staff glitch during that boss and now we're on the dreaded oh my gosh the dreaded stage everybody hates this stage and it's not because of these platforming sequences here it's it's because of the the underwater sequence that comes later you know admittedly i'm really i am playing a bit sloppy here I'm getting taking a lot of damage yeah it's not your normal your normal king of games self i i must tell everybody watching this, you know, Manny was not really quite the king of games yet. Um, he was a king of games in training. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you developed that nickname. I, uh, I don't think. I think it was. It was my dad who who originated that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he started calling you that until like maybe a couple of years later. Mm, pizza. I had pizza today. Oh, oh wow! VHS. Yeah. Switching out. <laughs> How many times had I probably recorded over this tape? To... Oh, I, oh, you want to know? You want to know what you recorded over? What? I don't know if I told you this. You recorded over a He-Man cartoon <laughs> that you taped off the local television. Yeah, yeah. I would tape that. Um, I taped uh, the Super Mario Super Show plus mostly <laughs> just it was mostly like the Link episodes on Fridays. Those okay, all the yeah. episodes, which I, I thought were better. What is your your nine year old self doing? You're like you're like toying around with it. Well, do you remember I told you um, 
like back then I would fool around in the games where like say at the end of Bubble Man's stage in Mega Man 2 you go into that little like that little pool of water right oh, before yeah. the boss door yeah. and I used to just like float around in there like it was a swimming pool yeah like pretend <laughs> yeah I used to do the same thing with Super Mario 3 you know that one stage I think it's in the first world and you go down it's like a cavern stage and there's like a little baby pool and like a medium pool and then like a big <laughs> large pool well i used to play around in that area just like randomly uh killing time playing in that world and i would pretend that there it was like the adult big pool and then the the mommy the, i used to call it the mommy daddy and baby pool <laughs> when i was a little kid just playing around and it's funny how we used our imaginations back then Oh gosh! I think I, I would recall your dad getting frustrated because I would like just like jerk around in the game instead of just like focusing on the objective. I was doing yeah. things that were unnecessary, yeah. and then it was costing lives or whatever time. So, tell me about tell me about the underwater. Your memories of this famous underwater stage, and here you are at age nine, basically showing me as a four year old how to do this because I. I never was able to do this without watching. There's another Ooh. VHS glitch. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, you know, honestly, I I, I hear mo like in modern times people say this is really tough and unfair, but I don't recall it. The only thing I remember having difficulty with is sometimes you get electrocuted by these, uh, I guess, coral pieces here. Yeah. Um, when, yeah. Like the hitbox was bad or something like that. Hitbox is real off. Yeah, and people like just didn't know how to to work with it and it it, it definitely was like a early rage quit game for a lot of nes players um i know for me I, I would go through like all four of my turtles trying to beat this stage so it looks like this might be the best. this is yeah this is this this is the part that everybody hates can you switch but, turtles while you're swimming no i don't think you can or maybe you can i don't know maybe, maybe we'll see you do that but man, and you have a timer too. So the whole thing is just anxiety filled. Yeah, it is. For a second level, that's kind of right. You know what? Get it over with early because games like this, there are no continues, I don't think. Yeah. So you may as well just deal with this now and later and man, waste a good run. You switch turtles there. Mm. So yeah, there, there is a strategy that you can use to have more health by switching turtles. But yeah, I mean, for you're doing well. Like you're... You're, you're doing it the way you should and you took those hits like a champ you know during that during that that coral reef part well by this point i Electric guess i knew seaweed yeah knew where everything was right yeah you you already had beaten the game before and i think you were you were showing me uh or maybe you hadn't beaten it i don't know maybe this was the first time you beat it Oh, but look, you, you're, you're uh -oh. coming down to the wire here. The music kicked in. Yeah. And as if the anxiety wasn't enough. <laughs> that that used to do it for me. A lot of the times playing uh, games where they would put that rushing music in. And uh, like hurry up yeah. music. Oh, Not and I good. remember finally diffusing that last bomb and just that sigh of relief from that okay showing up. It's like, okay, we're we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Here. These cutscenes were so cool. <laughs> look at look at the the way it looked like a comic book panel. A little smiley face in the wall. And Shredder, Shredder had his own like broadcast. Look, his hand thing. is coming out of the TV. It's coming out of it. Wow, <laughs> man. It's a nice three D television. Yeah. But man, getting to this part in the game was like you if you got to this part in the game, you you could already consider yourself like like half of it is the hardest one some of the hardest parts are already over. Um there are think definitely so. more hard it's, parts to come, but for me what I think about is the hardest part is the tech the, getting to the technodrome. Um, I don't know if it's getting to the technodrome, but definitely fighting it is to me I think that that was hard. Yeah. Now stage 3 is a little bit of a sigh of relief you know it's not as like anxiety filled as that last stage underwater but the problem with this stage is how much of a maze it really is to kind of you can go down all these weird like pathways that lead to nowhere and waste your missiles 
you have to collect these missiles and make sure you're not wasting them on like bad pathways uh, on that over that overworld hub. Oh, wow. There's definitely a lot of treachery and pitfalls in this stage, but like I said, I, I you know I would watch this tape and I would learn everything from your your tactics. You know, can you recall as a kid if this was always a really challenging stage for you? You know, honestly, uh, in my mind, I, I I see the whole game as hard. Mm -hmm. Not so much maybe stages one and two, which I probably replayed plenty of times, but I would say everything after two. Um, if I had to guess, it was probably difficult. The reason why I haven't touched this game since my youth is because <laughs> I know it's going to be tough, and I just don't have the uh, the um, motivation to go through this again. Well, yeah, and you were shocked that you were shocked that that you'd beaten it when I called you and told you about finding the recording. This is You're... work. What am I oh yeah, are you able to do this? This is normally not what whoa. Oh. That is not <laughs> something that people normally talk about. And then I ran when over it. When I... it comes to this game. That's pretty funny. You you glitched it, yeah. <laughs> you glitched had... it. You you'd figured it out at some point. Oh look at that pizza. I still use Raft. I, I don't understand it. Well, okay, who was your favorite turtle growing up? Uh hmm. From the series, I don't really know. But playing this game, it was always Donatello. Uh, all right, Donatello for this plus the arcade game. Yeah. Even like uh, Turtles in Time. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, because I used to watch these tapes when I was a kid, like quite regularly, like like it was my program. It was like my regularly scheduled program. I'm gonna go watch <laughs> Manny's long play of. Uh, and we didn't call it long plays back then, but you know, I'm gonna go watch his. Uh, him, him beat Turtles, the original Turtles game. So I'd watch you, I'd watch these tapes and almost memorize parts of them. Like that Man. jump, that's a hard jump to make. It was wasteful make it look, too. Make it look easy. You need it. Um, I guess it doesn't matter if I took it anyway because I had to kill that guy. Um, you know, like, I, I, there's a comment on the VHS. There's so much charm to the poor quality VHS right here. I know. The sound kind of being a uh, monorail and muffled and then like yeah, the all graphics the, pulling horizontally. Yeah, the little <laughs> flicker, the flicker you see going on everywhere and especially in certain graphics like that blue, all the different little artifacting that you yeah. see. And if you look closely, you see a lot of red and blue like in the solid colors. Yeah, it's kind of uh, like flashing. Mm -hmm. Like bands yeah. of it, right. lots of imperfections. It it is really charming. Colors really are cool. bleeding. It's awesome. <laughs> you know, when I play on an emulator, I, I like the um, crispy pixel, blocky pixel look. Yeah. But every now and then, I'll put on a filter, and the one I oh, hmm. I don't think you meant to do that. You couldn't have, because now okay. that turtle is actually like considered captured. Is he? Or maybe you wanted he to just get lose out of his it. health, right? No, no, he's captured. Are you sure? He, yeah, he's totally he's captured. I think if we if we go back to the if you ever hit the pause screen, you might show it. But I, I think at some point in this playthrough, you actually find the turtle because uh, in this game you could find the the kidnapped turtles or the the turtles that die, quote unquote, in the game. They're they can be re like recovered in a warehouse or in a certain building where they're being held captured, um, held, held kidnapped. And um, I think you find that one that you just lost. Hmm. I think. I don't know, maybe, maybe I am wrong. Maybe that's like uh, just a way to get out. But yeah, you're, you're playing this like a champ right here. Like you're playing it like you know exactly where to go, what you're doing. Like you're not getting lost. You're not going down the wrong pathway. Good waste of missile there. Didn't mean yeah. to. I pro it looked like I turboed it. I, I used to have the NES advantage. Yeah. And <laughs> I cranked the little turbo dial all the way up. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I used to love using that NES advantage. Some of these games you need, like, if, if you ever tried to play uh, Gradius or um, any any um, shmup 
without a turbo button, it's oh, yeah. horrendous. <laughs> yeah. Like the modern ones, they'll give you like auto fire. Yeah. But back, back in this day, no. Back then it was just. Yeah. It as hard as you as many times as you could. Fester's Quest. All right. Recently, I played through that, but I played the uh, European version, which is actually like easier. Easier uh, because they they remove the. Um... The, yeah. your, your weapon doesn't get stuck in the walls. Yeah, when you shoot, it can pass through the walls. It can pass through. And what I did was I tried to do it without a turbo button. Oh, And man. I don't know how to do the last fight other than to just race against the health clock with healing items and, well, like, I, th I think you find, like, um, TNT and stuff like that. I have no idea how to avoid damage on some of those attacks. So it's just like I was sitting there just... You know, yeah. pegging out the button, trying Old to do school. it without turbo. Man, let me tell you, you had to have like full health, had to have all the items. Gosh. <sighs> yeah, that was tough. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure I beat that game as a kid, and we had the US version, of course. I can imagine. I think I remember you telling me that back now, in the day. That one I probably used. Yeah, I probably used the turbo that, controller. That was a good strategy you just had. You just you knew that that character, that enemy, would walk off and kill himself, like <laughs> fall into the water. So it's interesting watching you play this, your nine-year-old self, where you were experienced enough in the game that you knew all these little like enemy enemy characteristics that would go to your advantage. If you know the tips and tricks, you know you you, you learn the games inside inside and out, and that's how you would beat the games back then. You had to play them over and over again to learn all their little intricacies, and and that's how you mastered games and. It's funny how sometimes, you know, you and I will we'll comment on like Let's Players uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll, they'll remain nameless for the sake of, uh, you know, we don't want to offend anybody. But there are certain people out there that will watch and we're like, guys, like, why aren't you, why are you getting so frustrated with this? You, you act like you, you play video games like all of your life and you play, you have this giant collection of games, you grew up with these NES games and yet you're acting like, this is something crazy that you can't beat and you get mad and frustrated. It's like, this is how the games were back then. You had to give it time. You had to learn the ins and outs. Don't get frustrated and, and, and bad mouth the game when there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just you're playing. Yeah, there are so many modern um, amenities that you get these days with gaming that it let's face it your hand is held pretty well in modern yeah. gaming a lot of it is also better controls in modern games Whoa, you took that guy out fast you, you got a great weapon here yeah look at that you made nice. sure to get that that special weapon don't want to waste it do i get to wow. carry it forward man you took them out fast and there's master splinter i i remember watching this tape and seeing you get out and get to the rooftop there Another kind of like sigh of relief of like, oh my gosh, he's at the end of the level. Like, this is crazy. This is the kind of stuff that, you know, I didn't, I wasn't as good a player when I was that young. So I didn't get to see this far into the game. You guys got to remember, this was before YouTube. This was before the internet. You actually could not see what we're seeing. What we're seeing right now, <laughs> I could not, not physically had no way of seeing this with my own eyeballs unless Manny made a tape for me of him doing it. And then, you know, he'd send these tapes to us in the mail to give us a glimpse into these games that we loved so much that we that me and my dad couldn't beat or couldn't get into. Well, I remember we would specifically call you and tell you like, yeah, and you'd, you'd say you got any requests, you know, like you'd actually tell <laughs> us like, like almost like a hotline, like a, 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 the radio. And we're like, yeah, yeah, like, well, can you beat this game? I remember asking you on the phone, well, can you beat this game? Or can you beat this game? And you'd say to me, yeah, no, no, I can't really beat that. Or like, maybe you'd tell me, no, how about another game? Like, you'd, you'd give me some suggestions of games that you knew you could beat. <laughs> okay. And like, uh, and so, yeah, that's how it worked back then, guys. Like, you couldn't, this sort of thing was magical as a young kid for me to witness happening because I, I couldn't myself physically get this far you know it's funny um, and we've talked about this but just to share it with everyone there's so many things that have happened since these older days in technology that we kind of forecast 
<laughs> and said like wouldn't it be great if you could just watch me play it live or something like that and yeah. we said that like as kids yep. like you turn on your tv and you could just watch me play it yeah and, and now we'd, there's we'd be there in each other's rooms like we we're able to play with each other because we were long distance you know i lived in texas manny and mikey yeah. grew up in new york and so we would we would have these conversations over the phone like wouldn't it be cool wouldn't it be awesome if like there was a way for us to play video games together even though we were so far apart not even just play i'm talking about the concept of like streaming yeah like you watch in yeah 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 you 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 would, you would dream up that stuff back then before it even existed mm -hmm. i kid you not i actually you know our families were close and especially through the tapes uh re-watching the home movies as a kid and stuff like that and i actually i don't know if i've ever told you this i would have dreams as a kid because i would i would i would be either maybe watching one of the old home movies and i would literally have dreams as a kid that we were visiting you again <laughs> like that we were in your house playing games like this playing the new ninja turtles game or this or that you know new mario game mega man random games and i'd wake up from these dreams extremely disappointed because <laughs> you and mikey were like and oh so i had my my friend brian he lived down the street he was my like my only other gaming buddy he was definitely like my only local gaming buddy at the time and so i would but you you and mikey were like my other gaming buddies and so um I, yeah i would have these dreams <laughs> and i'd be so disappointed i'd wake up and Oh no, I wasn't really in New York visiting them. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. There is some t some I don't I couldn't recall like the the stories that I remember, but I question whether or not they really happened or if they were dream material. Yeah. Uh you know, just either doing something in in one of these games cuz this was all right. So, I played a lot of games as a kid, right? Yeah. I had friends, we went outside did things too, but a lot of them were into gaming as well. Um but it was like a major, you know, foothold in my childhood. And so, yeah, it was like just constantly on your mind. Like, oh, you know, sitting in this class, when I get home, I want to try to get through uh, Super Contra or something like that, you know? Yeah. It, it was just always present. So, yeah, I, I would have these these thoughts or memories, I should say, that I don't know if they actually happened or if they were dreams. Yeah. You know, even to this day, I can't place them. <laughs> so this stage, this is the farthest I would ever get as a kid. Um, even with your tape, I could never get past this stage. Um, and I did later as an adult, I was able to, to, be, to get to the near the end of the game. Um, and I think I might've used save states or something. Uh, but as a kid, this is as far as I would get. I just had so much trouble on this stage, even with the help of your tape. So what were the, what were like some of the hardest games for you to get through? This one, um, I think was one for me. Definitely this one. Um, man, Batman for sure. The original Sunsoft Batman was just like sure. hard, and, yeah. we, and, we, and you know that we have some history with that game. Um, but yeah, this one is definitely way up there on the list of difficult games, and that's why it was so cool having this tape. I, I mean, really, honestly, I would put this tape on the the other games you had on there were Ducktales and Shadowgate, and I would watch you play Ducktales, but I would mainly fast forward on that tape to get to Turtles and Shadowgate because those were the two games I couldn't get all the way through and it was and I didn't even I didn't even own Shadowgate and so <laughs> uh, it was just for me it was just like owning a movie or something like literally well, owning I, a movie <laughs> recording of you playing I remember Shadowgate remember you really like even you know even to modern times I think you always liked Shadowgate I did I did yeah. and it was because of uh, so it started because of Mikey playing it a lot when we visited in 1990 and then because of Mikey playing it so much and I probably asked you at that point you know can you can you or maybe you suggested hey I can send you Shadowgate on this tape 
And so I think you, you, so you did that. And I then became really fascinated with the game because of this tape that we're watching right here. It was on this same recording. And maybe one day we'll get to, we'll get to that. And we'll actually do a video like this, uh, watching, watching you play through Shadow Game. Shadow Game, yeah. So as you, as you watch this, this old recording of you playing this game, what, what, what kind of like memories and feelings does it bring back for you? Well, um, a little bit of anxiety, sure. Um, watching it though, I'm a little more, I find it a little more approachable than I thought it was. Right. So I mean, I wouldn't mind trying it again. You're kind of like, hey, if I could do this when I was nine, surely I can do it today. Yeah, I have I play and beat hard games. I've done that over the years. But, and I know that I could approach these and do better this, uh, you know, second time around. Yeah. But it's just, I just don't do it. But like, I, I, I something keeps, like Castlevania 3, I've stayed away from for the longest time until... Look at this death trap right here. This is like Mega Man 2 uh, Quick Man stage. Yeah, yeah. And look, that pizza will kill you. Like, there, there's no way. Oh, so close. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I don't know I don't know if I could have even gotten the weapon earlier. I wonder if you knew, like, you might... Oh, yeah, this boss. Oh, Mauser. Do you remember anything about this boss? No, in fact, I did not even remember that he is the boss <laughs> here. But I'm looking at the I'm looking at the patterns so far. It's surprisingly pretty simple, so I wouldn't imagine it to be a tough boss. I could never even get to him. I think, I think the thing is, I had so much trouble in this stage with those uh, bomber jets that would bomb you while you're out in the main hub, the overworld, uh. and I would just die so many times that the, the the level was just so difficult for me. I never got to the boss here as a kid. Hey, look. I, like, glitched it out. I was able to hit it in his mouth while it was closed. Oh, look, wow. I paused it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, see, you, <laughs> oh it's... You, you, so how did you find these little I glitches? I don't know. Is it a Nintendo Power thing, maybe? Maybe. You, 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 you're pausing it at a specific moment to make it so that it it's still sticking out. That, that yeah. was crazy. Oh, breaking up. Oh, that's a funny, that sound. Hmm. His head just is gone, just disappears. <laughs> Blink. Go to the enemy base by blip. Now this stage, was my favorite to watch you get to. Oh, this cut, I forgot about this cutscene. <laughs> they look like lemmings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give this game major credit for all these cool cutscenes that really happen in between each stage. Oh, it's becoming sunset. So, oh, wow. now it's, so <laughs> I used to love you watching you get to this stage. This was my favorite stage to watch because A, I could never get to it. B, I loved the music in both the overworld hub and the, the action part. Like the music was is my favorite tracks in the game. Whoa, what's that? It's like a big spider bot. Yeah, it was like a something Doc Ock would use. <laughs> But yeah, the music I feel like just reminds me. Yeah, it sounds like a Metal Gear. Yeah, like, very. In fact, I, I'll have to look up later who did the the soundtrack. But yeah, I could I could totally hear Metal Gear. If this music sounds like "Come Together" by the Beatles, if you listen to the the bass line. Hmm. It's like doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Yeah, I hear it. What are they dropping? Just rocks? I always looked at... I always like to point out just the... Um, 
un <laughs> I, I guess you can call it just like the absurd nature of how stages are laid out like in this case like why why are why are there just platforms and like doors on yeah. single platforms uh you know there's really no rhyme or reason yeah who's gonna go there yeah and like who uses these weird ladders that are made in these weird patterns like like who is the architect here mm -hmm. the shredder shredder like is he is he really that much of a madman genius to uh to design this whole thing that's what i used to think with dr wiley in the Mega Man stages it's like gosh if he's this much of a genius with this much amount of funding that he can make all these different <laughs> giant levels and stuff why is he even bothering with Mega Man at this point yeah what what was his end game <laughs> what, like what, what was the see i i don't know did, was it part of well he he Maybe. wanted to find the uh the uh, infinity gauntlet and no oh wait, no. that was the wrong end game um no uh yeah you know dr wiley who knows they made him really crazy in the cartoon series did you ever watch the animated series mm, uh, yeah, well yes but not that i remember uh any of the plot but the um did i i could have sworn i saw it somewhere maybe it was in one of the games didn't he used to work with Dr. Light and then, like, yeah. he got basically got, like, brushed to the side and his ideas weren't important yeah. enough? Like, okay, now you're in these underground caverns. One thing that always struck really me about the, this part was that this looks nothing like Ninja Turtles, the cartoon show. Like, this, yeah. this looks, these enemies, like, you never see them fight these enemies. This could be a Metroid game or something. Like, this, this, this doesn't look really anything like a Turtles game it should look. Yeah. What are those? Bug they're people? Like, they're like these porcupine bug <laughs> creatures. They roll around like uh, <laughs> Samus. Fell down. Yeah, I used to think they were like you know Samus with the the rolling ability, the morph ball. Yeah, morph ball. It was but all very game Metroid. Did not care for slowdown. It's like we're yeah, just gonna throw everything we can at you. Yeah, it was like slow down, be damned. Hmm. And, so I, I'm pretty sure if I remember from watching this, you do know exactly where to go and find. Uh, was that Donatello you just lost or Leonardo? Leo, yeah. Well, I think I think you rescue him. Um, yeah, I used to just find this all fascinating. Apparently, if you if you get caught by the searchlights of those helicopters, a bunch of foot soldiers come out and try to fight you. Oh, really? On yeah. the overworld? Yeah. In the overworld, yeah. That can't be too hard. No. That's a tough jump right there. There you go. Yeah, this is where you, you rescue him. Yep. There he is. All the age tired. old, why why not just kill him? Yeah, you're like, <laughs> look at what are you doing? You're like messing up. Trying you're, to you're, cut you're, the you're rope. You're pretending like you're cutting the rope. Look at That's that. what I'm saying. That's like, so... we, did you see the glitch on the top oh, of the screen? Oh, there was there? a glitch on the yeah. top there. Yeah, the text. The see, okay, you guys got to, who are watching, got to remember, and maybe you were one of these kids, maybe you were like us, but we would use our imaginations like that, and we would extend these games into the world, like, we would push them further than they ever were, like, Manny right there was pretending like he was cutting the ropes of, of the, and that was not an animation or a thing created in the game, but his imagination led him to want that, like, yeah. he wanted to see that, so you went ahead and did it. And it was amusing to you, and 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 you know, I'm sure it was amusing to me as a kid. And and that's the thing, like we just we we pushed our. That's what was cool about these games and growing up in this era was that we really had to use our our imaginations. And these these worlds became larger than life in our own minds. Like they weren't all sh like these giant landscapes. Like you're not exploring a giant cavern in 3D with all these different things, but we could imagine it being like that. Look at that 
Sonic is bouncing back and forth. Yes. <laughs> it's a pro that's ugly Sonic right there. <laughs> the ugly Sonic uh, before the... he was even created. In fact, the guys at Sony when they made that ugly Sonic trailer and poster, they were, maybe they were playing this game before they came up with that. I really want to know what they were thinking in the oh, art room. Gosh. How did no one bring that up before it went I, the trailer. I, it might have. It might it, honestly. It might have been all part of the plan. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. It made for some good hype, but yeah. You know, it's, nowadays it's like, oh, Nintendo had a leak where they're talking about this game. Yeah. Was it really a leak, or you know, did they oh. feed that to someone? So what just happened here? So you went into this, and it turned out to not be the right. I think in this stage. Everything is like, oh. where the where the technodrome is is randomized, mm. and so you thought it might be there, but in this playthrough, it's in a different location. So you actually were caught off guard there. You were hoping it was going to be there, but it it's it, every time you play the game, it's in a different spot. So you have to now try a different cavern. I'm getting frustrated watching myself. <laughs> I, I, I like want to take the controller from myself and be like, dude, just. Oh man, it's not that, that hard. Like, wouldn't that be crazy <laughs> if you could, uh, like, somehow, literally, like, go through this recording, like, reach your hand in and smack your younger self around? Wonder what <laughs> you'd see some sort of Back to the Future effect happening. Oh It'd my probably, gosh! Like, fade out from the video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you won't exist in this uh, in this video because. Something something happens that makes us not even create yeah. the whole channel. The whole channel disappears. There's no my retro <laughs> life. It never happened. Tyler went. Yeah, <laughs> I, I never went into. I never played gaming again. Uh, yeah, because you because know. <laughs> you you went back and smacked your younger self around. Yeah. Don't go down this path. <laughs> Tyler goes into a music career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I remember when you guys would come, there's a, a little bit of uh, performance anxiety, so to speak. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like, sure. oh, no, you know, they're going to ask me to play through stuff, and yeah, you know, I got to make sure I do it and do it well. And... Did you ever, like, try to, like, uh, like practice and, like, train? Do, like, training before we got there, like, on a game? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I like... can just imagine you, like, as a kid, knowing that we're coming to visit and, like, you get out the power, the NES advantage, you know, controller, like you get everything set up and like you do some practice runs. And, okay. I think I can beat Mario three for them. <laughs> I can beat that tonight. <laughs> yeah. Do you say that in the video? Yeah, a little, yeah. little brat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, when I hear that, I want to slap myself around. <laughs> Man, you'll win these off you by tomorrow. Yeah, I could win that today. Oh, that that three-way shot's pretty cool. Why am I, like, why am I not just going up and going hitting? Going up to it. You want to like do it in style? Oh, I want to waste it. Oh, now you're wasting it. I wonder why. I I don't know. Are you not allowed to go back to your weapon? I, I would oh, think maybe like select why. or something. No, no. I think you can switch. You can. I think if you hit the select button, you can, you can go back to it. I don't know. Yeah, who sure knows? Sure, there was but, a reason though. Yeah. Okay, let's see if you... I think this is where you find the, the correct hideout. The correct, um, like, entrance to the... Dude, just ignore room. him. Just go. Just go. Just go! <laughs> and he's getting mad at his younger self. Oh, here we go. You did it. You found the right the right entrance. Wow. Now, okay, this, so how do you as do a, this? As a kid watching this was mind-blowing to, to see this giant Technodrome boss. <laughs> This reminds me very much of like a, a Dr. Wily encounter. It, yeah, it does feel like a, a Dr. Wily boss, yeah. And it's like, I remember watching this as a kid thinking, how are you going to beat this giant boss? That's where... actually what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> it's like, how, how does he do it? I'd probably go through all the turtles to do it. Probably, yeah. You've already taken a lot of damage. Do I have to break these? I guess so. Yeah, you're, you're being strategic. You're going after the weapon, the gunners first. 
So a little bit behind the scenes on me, and this is even to this day, is there are sometimes I throw all strategy away and I just push real hard and fast to outpace the boss. That's right. You know, I see yeah. that the rate that the boss's health is going down is slower than mine, and I'm yeah. like, just push it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta lay into him. And it's because it's like you only have a certain a couple more seconds before you die. Maybe you can beat the clock, you know? Well, look how easy this is now. I There's... got rid of all the hazards. Yeah. And I remember when you attacked that eyeball. Again, something about like attacking the main weak spot was so satisfying to me when I was kidding, hearing that sound of him dying or something. It was like, I don't know. It was, it was very cool. It's kind of like in the, in the arcade game when they get real red and they're blinking yeah. a lot. And that's another thing, like, when you see that, that's when you lay in real hard, because you're yeah. trying... Yeah. It's a ploy, you know, and it, it yeah. like, sucks you in and takes advantage of your... Uh... Yeah, it's funny. I guess you can't hurt the eye until you hurt everything, or maybe you're just wanting to take your time and mm. and kill everything first. Like, you're, you're attacking that electric thing oh, now. Come on, man. Use Donatello or some someone with health. There we go. All I have to do is slip up and die. Okay, yeah, you're taking your sweet time here, and you're like... Maybe you're like really savoring the whole like boss fight, like because you 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 took away all of the threats, and so maybe you're just like now like just kind of enjoying it. I don't know. They <laughs> don't. Because no. yeah, you're not you're you're not even trying to attack. Look, see. Oh, like... there you go. Yeah, so you can do it. When when you make these tapes for us, did you ever think in a million years that like thirty years later, thousands of people would watch you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hardly, no. <laughs> I was making it for two people, maybe three, if you showed it to a friend. Yep. Uh. That's a really satisfying sound, too. It's like, oh, I dude, I got... Oh, yeah, you almost died right there. Well, I wonder what would have happened if you had died. Like, would it, would it have glitched out and you'd have to, like, restart the boss or something? I don't know. Oh, Sounds weird. like I'll have to try it. Weird, yeah. Here we go, the Technodrome. And this yeah, is that ooh, tracking. I wow, love it. that tracking. <laughs> Very satisfying. It really is. It, like, <laughs> oh, there's some more. It's just such a signature of the times. Yeah, well, it can. It's kind of like a. Well, as we're watching this and that, when that happens, it's like, oh my gosh, wait, it's like a reality of like, wait, we're watching an old VHS tape <laughs> here. Like, oh man. Ooh, that sound effect is not the and one you want to hear. Nowadays, it's like you get buffering. That's about it. Yeah. Right, you that's you would thing. never see this analog noise. Oh, no. But... Yeah, I'd be curious what else you have recorded that we sent. Yeah, I need to dig through the tapes. There's, there's, uh, I know there's more. There's one, but it was mainly um, a. I don't think you beat the whole game. Oh, that's right. It was a Sega Genesis Super Nintendo compilation of like newer games you had you had uh, gotten. And I do think you have the full playthrough of Sonic Spinball on there. Yeah, I know I beat that one. That is so hard. Yep. I have so much trouble in that modern day getting past, um, I think it would be like third stage of the four. Yeah, it's maybe just, we can we can watch that one one night. I, yeah, I would like that. Just to know, just to see, like, for evidence that I did it. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're having a bit of trouble here on this stage. This stage is... Uh, it's tough, man. Like, yeah, I never beat this game without save states. Uh, later on with emulation and stuff, I, I would use save states. So I have beaten it, but not like the real way. And I could never even come close to doing it as a kid, even with your tape. It's just one, it is one of the hardest NES games, honestly. Um, I mean, that's. I 
there's a lot of hard NES games, but this is up there. I, uh, I I know what my little self was going through here. I was like out trying to outrun the guys chasing me, and I got caught. I could have gone down the ladder. I could have jumped into the cubby on the oh, previous screen. Okay. And I was watching my daughter play Mickey. Um, Castle of Illusion. Castle of Illusion. And um, she's doing really well. And I see her, like, she's starting getting that, like, anxiety, like, she needs to outpace something and make a jump, and, like, I see her face tensing. Oh, man. That's, and I, I, like, thought back to, like, cases like this for me. Eyes wide. Yeah, just, like, in it, trying to get the timing just right, just and then the relaxation after yeah. you get it. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I, I can see it, man, because like uh, we've got it on video. The you would we, the way you would get the look you would get in your eyes while you're playing these games, and I could just picture it. I can literally picture you playing this right now because of, of the way we have it recorded. Um, we can like I could probably superimpose a shot right now of you playing <laughs> Nintendo, and it's probably the same look, maybe yeah. the same clothing <laughs> that you were wearing. Uh, when you're playing this right now. I used to wonder what those signs said, like under the warning. It says like warning there. <laughs> like, what, what's written there? If I squint it's hard enough? Like, warning, uh, fridge will be cleaned on Friday. Yeah, it's something silly <laughs> like, like that. Bring, yeah. bring over here. I used to think that guy with the jetpack was really cool. What do you think the salary is like working for this guy? <laughs> like, oh, do you work for him because you want to be part of world domination does it pay well or are you just being threatened yeah you know, i know I, I, I probably being threatened honestly <laughs> knowing shredder and krang the way they would operate so i played the um shredder's revenge recently uh-huh it's on game pass and uh that great, that was a lot game. of fun yeah and when you said krang i thought about how you basically through the whole game trying to track down his parts yeah and keep getting stolen his head is yeah. like reacting to being kidnapped the whole time <laughs> i know that's such it's such a great return to form a love letter to the the old games and the old show Th this i think you're in the, i think you're in the blast hallway here you're you're in the final stretch of the game and you guys are almost dead too and now, you have a, look at this strategy you're implying here that guy would normally just eat your lunch but you're you're like you're doing a strategy that forces him to go off screen look at that little trick yeah that's what it was about a lot of it was cheesing the game yep <clears throat> you you relied on the limitations of the hardware though like, what, this guy's gonna it? go off screen like, and then that's it like think like work smarter not harder that whole yeah. uh line yep yep that, that would apply here yeah yep Okay, this is it. You're, you're about... Okay, oh, you got a little mini boss here. Oh! That... Oh! <laughs> oh, you dopey little kid. <laughs> what did you do? You Oh, man, little, and when you, you die, you have to go Mike. all the way back to the beginning. Oh, man. It couldn't have been that easy, right? Look! All right, are there continues? I know? don't remember, and it's going to be interesting watching this and seeing what happens. Because honestly, I don't even remember how this. This is good, you know. This is good because I always valued having like a stressful showing of, yeah. of something like this. If yeah. it's even. Oh, my. oh no, we're about to find out if there's continues. You're on your last dude, your last turtle, and you got one little, <laughs> little square of health. I think I'm going to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there must killed. be continues. There must be. Unless you don't beat the game and I was wrong this whole time. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Ah, Good full finish. health. All right. Oh, man, that's too bad. Okay. One credit clear type thing. Okay. This is that final hallway. I always remember because it it's yellow. Okay. All right. So we got all the turtles, although the raft's almost done. But that's all right because... F kind of sucks. I think I think this is where you do it. You're able to persevere here. Do you know I never played TMNT three? Really, the Manhattan the, Project. Yeah, Manhattan Project. Never That's a great it. beat 'em up. Have you? You've never played it? 
Nope. And I only oh. played tournament fighters when you had gotten it for that Christmas. Uh, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Three is good. Um, uh, Brian actually had rented it. That's the first time I ever played it. And then I didn't own it until a little bit later, like when I got the top loader. Mm -hmm. uh, like by 94, 95. Probably 94. That was probably one of the first ones I got, actually, when we got the top loader, because it was one I didn't have and I'd always wanted to experience. Turtles 3 is yes, great. Sometimes Turtles 3, I, I actually prefer it to the arcade game. Really? At least the NES version, at least, yeah. On, on a certain day, depending on how I'm feeling, I'm like, oh, yeah, I prefer 3 to, <laughs> to 2. It's, it's really good. So I was... um. I played through Turtles 2 recently, uh, recently meaning maybe a year or two ago. Yeah. Now I'm into doing the retro achievements, right? Yeah. Would you believe me if I told you that I think there's an achievement up there for uh, not dying and beating the game that Whoa. I ended up getting? Yeah. You got it? I, I, I don't even know how so. that's possible. I'll have to look it up. Okay, um, here we go. I'll check after we're done here. This is, this is it. The shred head. Maybe it was like, don't continue. Don't Coming down to the lightning bolt. Those arms. Oh, look, see, you know this. Look at this. You got that weapon. Are you serious? Look this, at this is it. Look, this is oh, it. now this I'm going to let him play with me a little bit. Yeah. Toy with me. No, you, That's you, it? You, <laughs> he's like the easiest boss in the game. After all that buildup. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and you jump up there. I don't know if that was something you did or if that's something the game does. Like, oh, you, you jumped off screen. Come on, really? That was it? You defeated the Shredder and saved the world. Now I can turn back to human form. What? This is it. You know, it's so simple, these, these endings. The adventure of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is concluded. Wow, that's it. That's it. There's no more There's There's no no sequels. sequels. <laughs> there is no more movies. All the memorabilia, everything we knew after this game didn't really happen. And that is it. Wow. So, man, oh, there's a little flash of DuckTales at the end there. I don't know if you oh, saw I it. So, it. It's just so awesome one. to get to share this with you. For us, it's like a window back in time. I mentioned it in the video commentary. It really was so surreal for Manny and I to do this and watch this together. And so many years later, over 30 years later, watch this original playthrough of Ninja Turtles. It was a blast. I had a blast and I hope you did too. Hey, if you're brand new to this channel, I definitely encourage you to hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, do consider subscribing. That's it for today's video. I'll catch you next time. Cowabunga dudes.